Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. I'm wishing you guys a very happy new year, happy 2023. And before anything, I wanted to thank all of you guys who have subscribed to this channel. We are now a little over 4,000 subscribers. I know that my channel isn't quite that big, but I do appreciate all 4,000 of you. When we started the year in 2022, I was just a little over 1,000 subscribers. So in about a year's time, we tripled this size. For 2023, I don't know if it's gonna be 2x, 3x. Hopefully we are over the 10,000 subscriber hurdle. Of course, I wouldn't mind if we grow it even much larger than that. But as a person who makes plans, I actually don't like to make plans that are too big, too lofty. I'm happy to take whatever blessings, whatever expansion that the universe gives me. But generally speaking, I like to set my goals one small step at a time. I don't like to overwhelm myself with goals that are perhaps just too far-fetched, too outrageous. Yes, we all want to live in mansions, in large beachside houses. We all want to drive sports cars and travel the world. But I believe that these large dreams are established one stone at a time. And in that spirit, I wanted to talk to you about the three simple things that we can do about your investment plans for 2023. So we're not gonna be talking about anything that's unrealistic. I'm just looking for small, simple habits that we can change and really planning out how we're gonna be investing in 2023. So the first thing on this list, it's pretty obvious by now that you really have to save and allocate a part of your money. And I want you to set in your mind what you're gonna be setting aside for the specific purpose of investing. So it may be a percentage, is 10% doable for you guys? Maybe 20% or maybe it's a fixed figure. Maybe it's 1,000 pesos every payday. Maybe it's 5,000 pesos. Again, what I want you to commit to yourself here would be an amount or percentage that you can readily work with. It may be as little as a few hundred pesos and that's okay. If you are looking to work with even just a small amount and you can keep to it regularly throughout the year, then that's great. What I want you to be able to do is that you can start with a small amount and maybe eventually you can grow this because like they say, saving is a habit. And for this instance, we are not just saving, but as mentioned, we are really looking to save for the purpose of investing. So let's move on to number two. You have committed to really setting aside money. So the big question is, what will you be investing in? I've already made so many videos that will help you in your decision-making process. I've talked about different platforms. There's GoTrade, there's eToro, there's Gcash, there's Seedbox Philippines, and there is Seed in Technology, just to name a few. Of course, you can also directly invest with your preferred bank. And beyond these platforms, apps, and banks, I've also discussed what are the different financial instruments that you could be investing in. There are UITFs, mutual funds, bonds, stocks, and even a little crypto. So there are so many choices. Again, you can go through a lot of my previous videos on that. It's a hard question to answer as to what you want to invest in. So for number two, and looking at all of that, my advice is really just to do it. Yes, just do it. I get a lot of questions on this channel about what are the best investments, the safest ones, the ones with the best returns, the ones with the best dividends, and what are those with the lowest fees? So my advice is stop trying to find the perfect investment. There is never going to be that best investment. Best is really subjective. It really depends on what your current financial position is and where you want to go. But if you're just trying to get started and you really want to get your feet off the ground, I suggest that you do it now. Do it with what's most accessible to you. If Gcash is the simplest and easiest way for you to get started, then go ahead. The great thing now is we can start investing with really low minimums. We can invest in the local market, invest in the global market, and we can even invest in privately managed funds such as seed and technology. So there are so many options out there. Stop delaying the inevitable. Start investing right now. And lastly, number three, perhaps this is for the slightly more experienced investor. So you've already gotten started. You've tried these different platforms. So now you're probably more comfortable and you have some preferences about which platforms you like to use. So my advice here in number three is really to start deciding how you want to spread your portfolio. A few weeks ago, I shared with you my video on how you can be diversifying your portfolio simply through Gcash's G-Invest. So in that video, I shared with you how I like to distribute my investment money with taking different factors in mind, such as do you want to invest more in the local market or do you want to invest more in the global market? And between stocks and bonds, 
how do you split your money between these? Again, what I've shared in that video is perhaps more specific to my own goals and my own beliefs and plans. Again, you don't have to necessarily follow it, but having your portfolio and setting the ideal of how you want to spread out your money will help you decide each payday or whenever you're doing it regularly as to how you will be dividing your money. And it's also possible that maybe you're not dividing your money each time you invest because sometimes the investment minimums are higher. Let's say for G funds that are invested in the global markets, the investment minimums are higher at 1,000 pesos each. So maybe if you're just working with 1,000 pesos, then you obviously can't further subdivide this. But what you can do here is that you are always looking at that portfolio allocation so that you know perhaps on this payday, you are investing on this fund. And then for the next payday, you are investing in this other fund or other investment platforms. So basically, you planning out your portfolio of how you want to allocate your money through these different investments will really help guide you and maybe put into perspective what are your actual goals and what are the plans that you need to carry out so that you are able to reach the set goals. So again, these are three simple things that you can look to do as you plan out your investment strategy for 2023. Again, it doesn't have to be too complicated. It starts with simple steps. So what are the things that you are looking to do or looking to change with your investment life in 2023? Share your answers in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing, happy 2023.